Alright, today I'm going to show you how to side chain with the fruity limiter. Alright, so first, uh, all you really need to know is that I'm going to have a kick drum with four beats on it, and here's the limiter, first of all. It's got all these settings, it'll leave a noise gate. So you go down here and click compress. That's the C-O-M-P, it's for compressor. And right here it says side chain. So that's what we're going to be using a lot in the limiter. Alright. Now, uh, I'm just going to have a simple pattern playing. It's just a 3x oscillator. I labeled it synth. Uh, you know, here's what it is. Just a simple synth right there. And uh, I routed that to my mixer on track 6. Alright, and I linked the kick drum already to track 1, just for the second time. Alright, as you can see that right there. So both of them are linked. So right now, uh, I'm just going to... Let me see. Yeah, here. I'm going to take this off because it'll just confuse you. You don't need a limiter on the kick drum. It was already there. Alright, so make sure the limiter is on the synth because that's what I want to side chain. Alright? So that's what it sounds right now. I have those plugins on just to make it sound a little bit better. Alright? So here I'm going to right click over here on this little arrow and it's going to say all these options. Click side chain. Alright, now the kick drum set to side chain the channel 6. Alright, now we need to throw our limiter on it. So we find that limiter, throw it on there. Alright, now we go to the compressor settings right there, click on that. And see that thing? Set it to 1. Channel 1 is being sent to this channel. Alright, now we're going to mess around with these settings right here. Ratio, threshold, and knee, and uh, gain. These are all what's going to really make it, uh, you know, side chain. So mess around with these knobs. I'm just going to try and find what I think will work right now without hearing the audio. Then I'll play it and see what works best. And you guys will hear the difference. Alright. Ducking in there on the audio, actually, in the, in the view. You can see where the audio ducks in at the white line. And that's where the audio ducks in, and the compressor picks it back up so it doesn't lose the sound. Claps and stuff, make it sound better. Alright, here's no compression. And when the kick drum comes in, it's gonna start pumping. And there you have it. Tweak around with the knobs however you like, but that's how you do it. You gotta link it in the mixer and follow the instructions, and it's really easy. Real great way to side change.